everyone. This is Sledhead, and I'm coming at you with my shave of the day for today. It is, what is that, May 24th, 2019. So I did want to say thanks for joining me for the shave. I'm going to be doing my head today. Just need to get it done. I figured, get it ready. On a quick break, Friday afternoon. Okay, so to get in the shave, just want to go through some of the equipment that we'll be using for the shave today. Uh, hardware side, the razor I will be using. <clears throat> this is my Gem Microbatic Clog Proof. I just figured I'd go with this again. I really like using it for my head. So it uses the uh, single edge blades. I think this is the third or fourth use on this one. They usually last a good while. I just really like this for my head. It just does a really good job, I think. Uh, the brush I'm gonna be using, uh, this is my Haircut and Shave Co. brush, 26 millimeter tuxedo style knot here. Just works really well in the head. I think it's got good uh, coverage. <clears throat> Excuse me. The soap I'm gonna be using, uh, this is the East Coast Wet Shavers soap. I think this might be the original See there, it's a uh, sweet lemon iced tea. Uh, this one uh, was made by Van Ule. You'll see back here. So uh, this is the first time I've ever used a Van Ule, so let's see how it goes. There's the uh, soap here. It's uh, fairly soft. You can move it around pretty easily. <clears throat> a strong scent. I would say like close to strong to maybe a little over middling, like more than middling. Right around strong. So definitely smells very good. Kind of a brown color there. So I I picked this up at the East Coast Wet Shavers meetup. It was on the pith table. So I, I picked this up. I was like, what the heck? And then also the matching aftershave was along with it. So I picked it up too. It smells really good. Lemon, like sweet lemon iced tea. Like around where I live, Turkey Hill is a, a big kind of like convenience store chain. And I think it smells very like that. They have a, their own iced teas that are really popular. I think Kroger owns them or something like that. So, but yeah, so looking forward to using these both. Okay, so that's some of the hardware and the software. So we can go ahead and uh, get the head shave started. So let's go ahead and rock this shave out. So first I'll just take my brush, run it under some water here, get it wet. Shake out a majority of the water. Just so it's wet or damp at least. Just taking off the lid here, bring this to the container, load up the brush. Looks like whoever used this before, I don't know if they, there's definitely scoops. I don't know if they scooped it or what. Put a little more water just to pick up a little more. Okay, I think that's going to be good. That looks like there's plenty in there now. <clears throat> so I'll go ahead and I'll... One sec, just got to clear my throat. Okay, pardon me, sorry. Okay, so I'm just going to get this brush wet again, and then we'll bring it to the head, start building up the lather. Good amount of water there. Start building it up, see how it goes here. Like I said, this is I haven't used the Vanille soap before this, so I'll see how it goes. If I like it, who knows? I can, I can maybe pick up... Another scent here. I do have quite a few. They're actually pretty good if you want like cologne dupes and stuff like that. So many stuff like that. <clears throat> or just like kind of unique scents or like kind of novelty scents and other stuff like that. A lot of a lot of different choices on Vanille's side, that's for sure. I like a little more soapy here. Maybe I gotta go back to the puck. Doesn't seem like it's soaping up terribly. So let me just try more. Let's try that.
feel like a lot of it was in the tips and I wasn't getting a good amount of soap out of the tips. Feels a little better now. Seems to be a bit better there. Still seems like there's a lot of tips. Maybe I'll get it out of the next part. Okay, so first pass with the grain here. Uh, good slickness here, I gotta say. No problems. The blade's doing a good job. I do like the scent. It's a uh, good for this time of year, I'd say. And it may go into June here, you know. I would definitely call it a summer scent here. The residual thickness seems to be pretty good. Uh, there's definitely nothing on my head anymore, and I'm just going back and forth over where there's no uh, lather, really. <clears throat> it didn't lather up like I quite wanted to. I don't know if that's just me or the brush. But like I said, there might be just soap in the bristles that's just not coming out or something. I might have mashed it in too much. I really ought to pick up some more of these single edges. Like, if you want a vintage razor, go on, like, eBay or Etsy and stuff like that. That's where you're going to find your single edges are way cheaper than a double edge. Like, much cheaper. Like, you'll find a lot for 10 or 15 <clears throat> Whereas you want, like, certain single edge or double edge blades or double edge razors, you're going to pay a lot more for a, a double edge. And you will a single edge. <clears throat> okay, all that good for the first pass, second pass. Put more water in the brush here. just because it's older or what but mm. Suppose this seems, I don't know, maybe just me, but 
seems to be more slick than cushiony lather. I just me, because I feel like I usually get a pretty good lather out of soaps. Okay, so I'm gonna do one sort of a with against the grain across the grain pass here. Be careful there, it's right my cut is a scratch. Yeah, good resist like I said, residual thickness is pretty good. Feels just fine here. Okay, I'll call that good. Okay, I'm just gonna call that good. <clears throat> it feels pretty close to me. We'll see, a little disappointed in the ladder, but I guess other, other than that, it was just fine. And again, I don't know if just because it's that old or what. I'd imagine it's at least a few I think it was like the fifth annual, or I forget how many East Coast Wood Shavers meetups there's been. But that looks like it might be their first. I'm not sure. Okay. So I'm going to take the aftershave, put some on. Give it a shake here. I can kind of see stuff floating around in it. So. And I, yeah, I think it's just a witch hazel and uh, aloe aftershave. I haven't used one of those yet, so let's see how that goes. Ooh, that's a strong aftershave. Oof. Strong scent. It feels good on the head, though. That's a ooh, pungent. That feels good. And then while that's drying down, we'll, get, we'll just go through again what we use for the shave. So the hardware side, Razor Gem Micromatic Clod Proof. Uh, did a great job as always here. Got Cut and Shave Co. Brush 26 millimeter tuxedo. I like it, it's really good for the head. <clears throat> the soap here. The East Coast Wet Shaver Sweet Lemon Iced Tea. Uh, the scent was good, the slickness was good. I didn't really like the lather out of it though, unfortunately. And uh, then the aftershave matching uh, aftershave scent is fantastic and it feels pretty good on the head here too my head feels really nice okay so that does take care of the uh, head shave of the day for today so i did want to say thanks for checking out the video please like and comment below i definitely like seeing both but if you can't leave a comment at least leave a thumbs up and uh, also don't, oh, don't forget to subscribe new subscriptions always appreciated so again uh, thanks for checking out the video hope you have a great day hope you have some great shaves